Hello, my darlings, and welcome to the first ever Design Me Devon um, part episode video. Whatever you wish, to be honest with you. Just welcome. Welcome, my lovelies. Um, this is a kind of fixer upper sort of series that I want to do on my channel where you guys will kind of submit a build to the Design Me Devon hashtag. I've seen already that people have been spelling the hashtag wrong on the gallery and I'm not checking the one that's spelled wrong. It's D-E-V-O-N, not D-V-E-I-N. So make sure you get the hashtag right because that's the only hashtag I'm going to be checking for this build. Now I did start one on... Um, I did start a Twitch version as well on stream last night. We're going to be doing a separate build all together today. And if you want to check that out, I will leave a link down below in the description box. And you can go and check that one out, my dears. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to go around. I'm going to show you the lot that we are renovating today. We're going to go around and see what the builder has done to the lot. How, many, how much we have got kind of budget wise and any other sort of like aspects whether that is for a family blah 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 and then what we'll do is go into kind of a speed build format but i'll put myself up on the screen as well so i'll still be here don't you worry i'm in my hoodie today it's very cozy i went out for breakfast this morning and i've still got hat hair i like this i'm liking this hairstyle a little bit more now the forward fringe i'm getting a bit bored of main reasons being i'm cutting my own hair at the minute and it's never as good as when your own hairdresser does it. Even when you are a hairdresser yourself. Well, sorry, I'm not a hairdresser anymore. I'm a content creator. <laughs> what do I say to people when? What do you do for a job? I build houses on the internet in a computer game for people. And I'm filth. <laughs> what do I say? So I'm just going to say content creator. Don't even think about calling me an influencer. Because I fucking hate that shit. Um, but yeah, what we'll do now. We'll flop on over. We're going to we're going to have a look at the build. We're going to see who built the build and we're going to see the points, what we how much we got to spend, what the build needs, etc. And then we'll have a little tour of the lot before we actually go and demolish it or well, not demolish it because we're not doing that. But, you know, oh, for God's sake, Aiden, let's have a look, shall we? OK, you beautiful people. This is the lot we are going to be renovating today for Design Me Devon. This is the Bedlington Lighthouse and it is done by one of my lovely Twitch subscribers, Solar Power Spork. I love that name, always will. So thank you so much for submitting this build. It's iconic. I absolutely love what you've done with the place. Um, and I cannot wait to sort of renovate. I really can. Anyway, here we are. A fixer upper for the Design Me Devon Challenge. This little lighthouse is a lot to offer on a budget of 50,000 simoleons plus whatever is salvageable from the site. Can Aiden bring this build to its floor, former glory? Or at least, can he clean it up? Aiden, your clients are one of the many young couples moving to Brindleton Bay, and you're trying to flip it for a profit without compromising the neighbourhood's charm. This is, a, this is a historic lot after all. I love that. I absolutely love that. And I cannot wait to like make a little lighthouse. I'm very excited for this. So let's have a little tour around the build itself, shall we? So here she is, the Bedlington Lighthouse. I think this build is so cute. I cannot wait to do a bit of work to this. I really can't. I've already got some ideas whether or not we can make those ideas come through. Um, but I'm very excited. What I love about this slot is that there is kind of an extension being put onto the side here which I love with the use of this crane and stuff. I think that's so creative. The amount of detail that you've put in this place is astounding. I love it, especially on the inside. I think it's so good what you've actually done with the inside. I love this kind of like crumbling sort of front um, decking area that you've got going out here. And I love this as well. I love this old lighthouse being here. Makes sense. It is a lighthouse. So we're definitely going to be keeping this lighthouse in. I may change the top slightly. I may actually put windows in up here. Um, and have this as like a little mini kind of viewing area out onto the sea itself rather than having it kind of open to the elements I might actually like close that in um, I'm going to take all of this fence down as well all of the landscaping is going to be done nicely but I think I'm going to keep this fence at the front here just to pay respects to the build I don't want to take away too much of its charm 
but a few things will be changing in here like these windows for starters i think i'm going to change the windows on all of the build to be honest uh, and maybe the siding and stuff as well but we'll get to that in a sec now let's go into the interiors so into the kitchen oh my god this is gonna this is poo paw prints everywhere the detail in here i mean i'm astounded by it absolutely astounded by the amount of detail in here um don't know what we're going to do floor plan wise yet i might just open the space out first and then decide because it has got a basement area which i think i'm going to put the bedrooms in or i might just do i think i'm going to make this a two bedroom we'll do a bedroom up here and then maybe like a guest suite downstairs with its own bathroom and stuff uh but we'll go down to there in a minute again bit of a skanky looking toilet too and i just love it i love what you've done for this place i think i'm going to get rid of the fireplace as well I think I'll get rid of the fireplace and maybe get a wood burner or something in here. But just look at the amount of detail. Look at all of these cracks and everything. It's going to be... I love clearing builds when I'm renovating. So I'm going to be so happy with this. So happy. But look, everything's on... Oh, I'm, just, I'm just for it. So, yeah. And then obviously downstairs, there is this huge basement area as well, which again has got the the beginnings of it already being renovated and i just think that's so creative of you to do that cannot wait to do this but i think this would be perfect for a guest suite down here with its own like nice bathroom here or something um but yeah we're gonna go for like a nautical theme with this build i think so i may keep the build quite fresh and white on the outside um yeah just to like pay respects to the actual place itself i think that would be really really cool and then obviously as i said there's a ladder kind of going up into these areas here. Now, these will, areas will be pretty unusable. So that's why my thoughts were, why don't I kind of like close this area in? It will stop the house from having that kind of outside lighting and I don't have to add any more walls down here. And this could be a nice cute place to put like a sort of like um, a bay window chair with some lovely glass going around. I'd want to kind of semi-modernize this place, but also I would still, again, want it to keep its charm and things, but... I don't know. I just think a nice crisp white build would look lovely. And maybe with some white shingles on the actual build itself. I don't know. But Solar Power Sport, this build is so creative. You're a very talented builder. That's for sure. And I cannot wait to make this into a nice little family home. I'm very excited. So without further ado, let's flop on over. And you're going to see me now starting to clear this place up. And working out what we're going to be doing with the rest of it. Okay, now into the clear up portion of the Bedlington Lighthouse. Now, this part took um, quite a while. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is about doing this kind of thing, though, but I find this really therapeutic. Deleting items and making everything clean. Virgo, probably. Probably answered that myself, actually. Um, but, oh my God, there was so much detail in this. So much detail that I had to just completely strip back and get a nice blank canvas before I could kind of make my mind up on what I wanted to do. In the beginning, I was like, shall I keep the windows? And I was like, no, I'm going to get some new ones. I end up using the windows from Snowy Escape as well, which I think work really quite well with this build. Lots of changes happen as well. I do quite a few versions of this before I'm happy on what the actual outcome is kind of came to be in my head what i was thinking was these shingles were added on the outside on the exterior they were added at a kind of like a later date and beneath it was this white sort of brick original brick that would have been there and that is what i ended up using towards the end but you'll see that a bit further on um into the build but it, it is just going to be me literally cleaning this place. But what, why do I find that so therapeutic? Just this was pissing me off. That little stain there. Couldn't delete it for ages. Don't know why I was deleting the floors. It was just awful. Just awful. Now, in my head, because I thought, right, this is a historic kind of build. I do want it to kind of look very traditional and as it was on the outside. Uh, but I also wanted to kind of modernize it. As the kind of description said, it did say like young couples are moving to, to Brindleton Bay. So I wanted this to kind of appeal to a younger kind of generation. Um, so that's what I did. And in the beginning, I used this white concrete. That doesn't say. In the beginning, I had this black F roof tile as well. That actually stays. I was like, oh, I quite like that. And in the beginning as well, I had, I did... Off of camera, I did change the roof. It was like a silver, but I was just like, nope, not liking that either. I actually put the extension onto the back here. And this is where the 
living room ends up going. I actually put, there's only one bedroom in this place. I thought it's, eh, it could be for a couple. Um, I actually put the bedroom in the basement. I know I was going to do like a sort of uh, guest suite there. That actually ends up not happening. And here, this changes as well. I was putting in a glass roof into this area here. And, and my thoughts were, if this was a historic build, they wouldn't really want that. So I end up changing the glass roof as well. And I'm glad that I did. And I'm glad now that I end up getting rid of the black brick as well. It doesn't look bad. I just don't like it. I don't know what I was thinking here. What was I thinking? I don't mind that door with it either. The one from Eco Lifestyle. But I end up changing that as well. I'm going for... Um, what door did I go for on this one? Why have I gone completely blank? <laughs> oh, the Moschino sliding door. Instead, I use that one there. I just think it fits with the windows better. And I put in, I just love the way that these windows look. And I'm loving using that base game brick that we've got now. I'm loving using that. I'm using it absolutely everywhere at the minute. And I thought this build is perfect for it as well. This kind of old lighthouse looking build. I was very much for it. I end up doing a bit of landscaping or a bit of terrain manipulation as well with this build. Um, main reasons being I've really hated every single foundation with this build. It just wasn't fitting with it. So I end up going for the original foundation and then I extend out the front a little bit more as well just to be able to get some stairs up here and make it look kind of acceptable. Acceptable levels. And I just think it really, really... I don't know. It, it started... It was a late kind of developer for me. I really didn't like it at this point. I was like, I'm not liking how this is looking. As soon as I made the whole build white with black accents here and there with black windows, that's when the build, I was like, that's it. That's the one I know exactly where I'm going now. And it worked, really did. End up putting a little like front porch on this area as well. I just think it looks a little bit more welcoming that way. And I, I just really like it. I got very inspired with this today. I really did. So I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to do a second one. <laughs> I'm going to do a second one and bring the speed build out on Monday instead. I hope you guys don't mind, but this is kind of like a speed build anyway. I'm here, I'm talking and I'm building. So um, I'm going to do that instead. I'm just very inspired at the minute, especially seeing your guys' builds and your guys' entries and stuff. So expect another one of these tomorrow. Very excited. So here we are. This is the floor. I opened it out. I opened it right out. And in the beginning, I was like, right, maybe we could put a bedroom there, bathroom there. And I was just like, nope, that's not working for me either. And then I was like looking around trying to plan where I'm going to put stuff. And it just wasn't working. I was like, I would love that this place was completely open plan. So I open planned this whole area at the top, um, but separated it off using some um, like half walls and all of that kind of business. You'll see that in a bit. You'll see that in a bit. And I love the tower at the top with like the bay window seat. You'll see that in a bit as well. And then I was like, oh, we could put a bedroom there. I'm leaving everything in so you can kind of see my thought process with this as well. I was just playing around with the like floor plan of this for quite a while until I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to put the bedroom up here. I'm going to put the bedroom downstairs and have their own kind of like hidden away bedroom where I can go a bit more bigger with the bedroom as well. And then it kind of makes sense this area kind of um I don't know I just liked it I just liked it and I think you guys would as well I think the bedroom is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house I still wanted to keep the period charm of this place so I'm using all exposed brick on the inside as well the original floorboards that I they did use for the build solar power spork did use this for the flooring and I was like do you know what maybe we could use that but just pretend that they stained it a different color so we can start bringing in all of those black accents into this build and then I use these Odin doors that I would imagine they salvaged from some kind of like salvage yard nearby that would have been on, I don't know, an old dock house or something. I have no idea. But that was my plan with it. And this was the floor plan that we ended up going with. So the kitchen kind of goes in that area there behind the half wall area. And then this is going to be where the um, sitting room is. And the dining room goes in the middle. And it just flows better that way. I like the thought of this being open plan here, especially if it's kind of an entertaining space as such. I'm sure they would get lots of visitors coming here with um, the fact that they're so near the ocean. Now, rather excitingly, I think I spent... I think I ha I started off with 25k of... No, was it 50k? 50k. I started off with 50k, deleted everything, obviously had about 70k, and I think we were left with round about 27 
thousand simoleons. So I was under budget as well, which is very nice. And um, yeah, good, good old renovation. And I've, that's the look I wanted to go for there. I really love how the crisp whiteness is against the black roof and the snowy escape um, windows as well. I love that. I do love it. And I wanted a detail at the top here. So I ended up going for these roof trims in from Snowy Escape as well. So Snowy Escape came in quite handy for this build, especially for the exterior. Um, really like it. And I really like how this came along. I think this, I definitely had lots of nods as well to nautical themes on the inside and the exterior as well. So I made sure to make that kind of like, not like power shine through, but just subtle hints here and there of it. Um, and I, I like that. I do. I love it. I've no no idea how long this build is going to be at all. I, just, I think I've only sped it up like kind of just under half of the amount or half 500% speed. I've done 400% speed. That was a lot easier to say. <laughs> um, and this bit here, I was like, oh, it'd be nice if they could have just like a little bit of space off of the living area. So I do a small little patio area off to the back and I changed this stone as well because it was just not sitting with me right. And I end up going for this one here. Main reason is being there's lots of these rocks around. Well, not lots of these rocks. There's rocks around this lot that kind of match in with the actual flooring tile. So I was like, maybe they could have like got paving slabs. I went a bit too far. This bit here as well, ignore. I was like, oh, maybe we could do this big roof moment, like overhanging the rest of it. And I was like, nope, you're changing the footprint really of this historic bill you shouldn't be allowed to do that so stop it so in the end i pulled all that back and forgot about it i was like nope 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 we're not doing it we're just doing the extension that was kind of pre-being built already if you remember that was the little crane thing that was there and then i just widened it a little bit more and made it look seamless so it kind of blended in with the original build itself and yes with the landscaping i made sure to check around the whole lot on the outskirts as well just so I could pull in a lot of the plants and stuff that is around this world. Um, again, just to make it kind of nestle into the landscape and not kind of stick out too much. And I loved doing it. Loved doing it. And the shocking thing was, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to use the tool mod. And I didn't didn't have to use the tool mod for this. For some reason, these plants just stuck right into the um, risen terrain, which is kind of, well, very unheard of in The Sims 4. And it just it just worked. It just worked. It really did. And I was, I'm, I was pleased. I'm pleased with it. The video tour at the end, I'm going to do kind of like before and after shots of every room and the before and after shots of every of the outside of the house and stuff as well, just so you can sort of see how much it changed. Um, but yes, I like that idea. I do. I'm really, really excited for this series. Definitely excited. So that is why I'm bringing another one out. Now, this doesn't make sense because I'm bringing two hefty big trees and putting them on the lot. Um... But maybe they got, maybe they had a huge tree and they digged it up. That would never happen. And moved it into the corner of the lot just so it looked prettier and framed the build better. That's what we're going for. Um, <laughs> completely unrealistic, but this is The Sims and I wanted to do that. Using these on the outside as well, I just wanted a little bit of extra detail on the windows. And I just think they look nice. And I was like, oh, is this going to cost me a lot? These are 100 simoleons each. And I still had like 60k simoleons left. Um, after deleting everything and having my 50, was it 50k? I'm sure it was the 50k um, budget. It's um, It's been long now because I've I've built this like for most of the day. Well, not most of the day. I think I've been building this for about four hours. Um, but I've forgotten, forgotten what my budget was, but I'm sure it was 50k. Um, yes, yes, I am sure. Again, doing terrain paints because they're free. Stunning. Always comes in handy as well. These bushes I changed from the hedges that I used in the beginning because they're free. So it saved me a little bit of money there as well. That's what I love about the debug option with doing this house um, or this series. It's going to be nice. Now, I don't think I'm going to limit myself to the packs as well. I've had I had a couple of people ask me on Twitch the other night. Are you going to use the same packs that they had? No, I'm going to be using everything. I'm going to be using all the packs. I won't use custom content. But I will be using all of the packs to kind of renovate these houses just so I've got complete range of all of the stuff in game. And then it does. I don't feel limited to that. There might be a house where I think, oh, actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to just stick to those packs and see what I can come up with. But this series won't be me kind of sticking to certain packs and stuff because I just 
that will kind of limit me and it will also make it a little bit more difficult and I don't want it to. I want to have fun when I'm doing this and being creative in that with all of the packs is what shines through to me. It really does. Um, but yeah, I think that was the major majority of the outside done. Didn't want to do too much in the gardens and things. I think if you lived this close to the beach, you would be on the beach living your outside life. So I didn't want to have like a massive garden or anything. So that decking or like kind of little patio area out the back, I end up um, ignore what I'm doing with these like thingies as well. In the beginning, I was like, oh, that looks nice. I end up getting rid of them. Just wasn't for me. Wasn't for me, loves. Now, this is me putting the floor or the floor plan downstairs in the bedroom. So it's still quite bright. I haven't got the lights that I'm using in here yet. And I actually raise up or tear up the bedroom in platforms. End up putting the bed at the top. Some wardrobes on the side on the second platform. And they've got their own ensuite down here as well. Also, there wasn't any natural light per se down here. But the stairwell is open and there is a window above it. So they would kind of get a little bit of natural light down here. If I had a bigger lot, I think I would have gone down into the basement level and dug out the basement level and put some windows and stuff that way but I didn't I didn't do it that way not at all but uh I still I still enjoy the way it came out still very much enjoy the way it came out so living room ignore that bright red tree I was like oh let's get a pop of red in here I end up muting it down it just kept catching my eye every time I turned around in this room um Going for nautical themes, you can see with the lights and the wall lights as well. I still wanted those nods to the nautical theme in here. It's very subtle, but I think it helps kind of tell a story in this place as well, which I really like. Really like subtle hint with the blue as well. The sea, you know, I didn't, I wanted this build to be the majority monochrome, black, whites, greys, but I still wanted little kind of like nods to colour here and there quite subtly. Um, and that is what I ended up doing with the couches and bits and bobs. Now, you saw where I put the dining room. Saw where I put the dining room. Also put an aquarium there as well because it's got a lighthouse in that aquarium that looks very similar to the one, this one, in black and white. So I was like, yes, we're doing that. Lovely. Now, that's just like a little nook area next to a bookcase in the kind of sort of actual lighthouse itself. It then goes up two more levels. One of them I put an easel and stuff in and then the one above it I put another kind of bay window seat up there where they can get views out from the top which would be stunning now i was like they would have a modern kitchen i think i feel with this place so i end up using the island living one in a black and i just think it nestles in quite nicely i think if the younger couple was going to be moving in here they would kind of prefer having a modern kitchen so that's why i did that that is exactly why i did that now i've got an itchy back an itchy back my loves um I would have loved that. I forgot to even say this. I would have loved, and I had this in my head in the beginning. I was like, I'm going to go up another floor. I'm going to put another floor on this. But then I was like, no, it's a historic build. They wouldn't want you to change too much of it. You wouldn't be allowed, really. Um, so I didn't. And then that was where the thought came from after trying out all the floor plans of thinking, actually, let's go downstairs and have a big master suite, one bedroom house downstairs and that is what I ended up doing I really really did that's very very much for it I'll let you know as well the final um price um plus how much I spent and of this whole renovation at the end um because I need to go back and check those figures because I do not know but I think that's a good way of doing things with the series as well as the final price of the house and how much I actually spent on the end as well so we'll do that in a sec so yeah this is that little decking area couple of skill building items out here as well. A couple of plant pots, but also barbecue and stuff as well. So they can entertain if they want to do a little bit smaller outside. I really, really like that idea. Um, Yeah, this is going up into the lighthouse now. So these spaces were quite difficult. Main, I had to readjust and place the ladders differently. I used some more kind of industrial looking ladders. What I would imagine would be the original ladders that would have been here. Um, and I kind of put that bay window as well facing back, like the, with the back to the sea. I would have preferred it the other way around, but because of the um, orientation of the ladders, it wouldn't allow me to. And they could, in real life, they could lay down and look out the window that way. Do you know what I mean? So I thought, do you know what? 
bugger it. And it, so this is the bedroom. So I end up using a lot of the furniture for, from Snowy Escape. Snowy Escape's coming in very handy lately of my builds. I'm really loving the furniture. And I just think it suits it in here. Pale little greeny grey wall at the back as well. I thought it looked nice and stopped it looking too bright in here against the old poster that I would imagine they salvaged out of all of the stuff that they kind of found in this build when they bought it. Um, and they decided to put it in their bedroom just for a little nod as well. But really like this bedroom layout. I like how it kind of flows through. Um, very happy with it. And again, another little nautical nod there, loves, with the lifesaver vest. But um, yeah, and the ensuite. The ensuite's pretty standard. Um, but yes, I think this is where the video is going to stop any minute now. So what I'm going to do, you're going to go into a video tour and I'm going to see you beautiful people tomorrow for another part of this.